It's returning for its third season. The show, based on Stephen King's 2009 novel, tells the story of a town suddenly cut off from the rest of the world by an enormous transparent dome. Under the Dome was last summer's number one program with more than 11 million viewers. Yes, Emmy Award-winning actress Mark Helgenberger stars as Christine Price, a therapist sent to help the town of Chester's Mill deal with the aftermath of the Dome. If ridding yourself of your father is the best thing you've ever done, why haven't you sold this house? Lady, why do you even care? Because like it or not, James Rennie, you belong here. You're part of this town. You're part of a community that needs you right now. I can never be part of this town. My father made sure of that. You want to know why I left? Because everyone around here thinks I'm just like him. Then maybe it's time you stop running away and show them that you're not. Mark Helgenberger joins us at the table. Good morning. Good morning. So great to have you here. Thank you. So tell nice us about you. your character. How does she relate to the dome? Well, it's a, a complicated question because the series has starts the first two episodes, which air back to back. Um, the premiere is uh, is current, some of it takes place in alternate reality, which okay. is where where I'm introduced. But then the third episode, it becomes. That we're still under the dome. So, how I relate? I mean, I'm there to help everybody out. I'm hoping to make this a collective or a kinship, as my character refers to it, and mm. by going along to get along, and people need to kind of um, leave their individuality behind, which doesn't go well with everyone in the yeah. community. It, it is said that the executive producer created this character with you in mind. Uh, yes, I was very flattered. Was it about Neil Bear that made him create the character. <laughs> um, you know, I've known Neil Bear for many years since China Beach days, actually, and he's a lovely guy and very talented man. And I, you know, I don't know. He just uh, felt that I had what it took to play this role, and he, um, and it's very complex. It's very juicy part, and I'm having a ball with it, actually. Mm. Juicy because you're channeling Mrs. Robinson a little bit. <laughs> 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 Yeah, at times I am, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. That's, that's a good tease. That's a good tease for me, yeah. It's yeah. such an interesting show because, because it did so well. I mean, the original Stephen King book was just one book, right? So it was supposed to be just one season then potentially, but it was extended because it was doing so well. So you're entering this three seasons in. Right. My character does not appear in the book. So um, how I figure into the community is I make sort of a big splash. I come and enter uh, like a Mack truck a bit. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, there it is. Oh, there wow. Yeah, there's the alternate sort of reality there. Oh. Uh, everybody loves you and knows you too from CSI. You know, such, such a great show. You're going to return for, this, for the season. I know you left over a year ago, but you're going to return for the big season finale. Well, it's actually series finale. Series finale, yeah. I should say. Yeah, so the they're finale. doing a, a two-hour movie, and I'm coming back, and William Peterson is coming back. And wow. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So uh, Anthony oh, Zyker, who created the show, is writing the script, and I believe the guy who directed the pilot, Danny Cannon, is going to be directing as well. And, of course, everyone else who's still with the show will be back. So what can you tell us about it? I, I wish I could tell you something, honestly, but I haven't heard a peep other than, yeah. oh, you're going to love what you have to do. <laughs> it was nice to reunite, re, reunite with everybody. Will it be nice? Yeah, yeah. we're, we're going to shoot it uh, end of July. We're going to start shooting it. It will be great because that, we, that cast was, you know, magic. Mm -hmm. We really all mm -hmm. loved each other and had so much fun on the set and nice. a lot of great memories. Yeah. You just started taking improv classes, and this was oh, God. right. So this was. So I'm, this is interesting because you started doing this after CSI, right? But uh, but before Under the Dome. Right. Yes, I did. Um, I've done. Graduated from level three, actually. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> there's, le there's levels of improv class. Yeah. Um, Mrs. Well, yeah, you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's level six. She's, she's oh, really? more wow. advanced yeah. than level three. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I did it because I had free time, and I've I have you know great respect and admiration for comic actors and sketch com comedians and so on and um, it's it was sort of in my neighborhood it made it kind of easy and it's been it's been a lot of fun I've uh, I'm hoping to go back because now my team is sort of advanced and I have to you know gr be grouped up with a whole other team but every person you know, I talk to who fun. takes them says they learn so much um, from those classes both as an actor or just as a, a well, yeah, because it's it's truly all about the process and not getting out of your head and and you know this this phrase called yes anding everything where somebody says something the statement about you, like you're a jerk. Well, that's because blah blah blah. Instead of uh, saying I'm not a jerk, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just uh, so it's a very kind of a positive uh, role that keeps being you know.
Well, we're excited to see forward. Under the Dome. And um, Mark Helgenberger, thank you so much for being here. Great. Thank you for having Great me. To have her. And we should mention, you can see the two-hour season premiere of Under the Dome. That's on Thursday, June 25th at 9, 8 central, right here on CBS.